Okay, these cycles have been running in the US since the mid-1700s. In fact, the trigger that caused them in the mid-1700s is what they call the enclosure of land. It was an unsettled or uncolonized country. Not all the land was allocated, but there became a certain point in the US's history where all of their land had now been allocated. It was now a tradable commodity. That's what started the cycle. Now what runs it is what's called Ricardo's 1809 Law of Economic Rent. Now when an economist says rent, they don't mean rent like you and me. What they mean is surplus. It's actually the law of economic surplus. So I'm gonna give you a very basic example of how this works. Let's say 150 kilometers that way, we all know that in 10 years time, there's gonna be a city out there with 100,000 people in it. And I'm gonna give everyone an opportunity today to buy a block of land out there for a dollar. That sound like a pretty good deal? Yep, all right, great. We buy a block of land for a dollar. How much money have we spent on that block? A dollar. Now we're not gonna spend a single cent on that block of land over the next 10 years, but society will. Society's gonna put in roads and schools and rail and shops and you know all that kind of stuff. The productive gains of society that spend on that area, all of that money is gonna filter into the value of the land. 